We are celebrating our 30th anniversary this year at the Hotline. So we started in the fall of 1989 and have been taking calls 24 hours a day ever since. I couldn't speak more strongly in support of the Boys Town National Hotline and the OPS Safe Schools Hotline and all of the ways that the Boys Town Hotline staff support school districts in our community. The Boys Town National Hotline is certainly a service that is an incredible asset. The value that the Boys Town National Hotline has brought to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline has been immense. There is, is no center in our national network that has answered more calls than Boys Town. There was a teenage boy talking to me on the phone and he was walking, he said he was walking to a store, I could hear traffic. Um, he was going to go to this drugstore a couple blocks away to buy some sleeping pills to end his life. I asked him if he would just stay outside and talk to me for a while before he went in to buy the pills, and he did. And so he ended up giving me his, his girlfriend's phone number because um, they had just broken up. And so I had the supervisor that was listening on the call call her, and she was able to get his mother's name and phone number. And so as we were speaking, um, his mother true story, got off of a bus as she was taking a bus home with her car had broken down evidently, got off of a bus and was running, calling his name, coming to the phone. I could hear her screaming his name, I think it was Nathan, 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 Nathan. Um, and he, and she was crying, just crying her eyes out, because she, she knew what had happened, you know, she was um, told what would happen on the call. So when she came to him, he handed her the phone and I spoke to her and told her what he had said to me and she said, thank you so much. I remember a call that Boys Town told us that they received the lifeline about uh, a, a caller in his 20s. And he was not only despondent, but he had just taken some insulin. He was a diabetic and he, had, he was overdosing on it. As, as he began to slur his speech, he said he wanted to die. Boys Town said, we're going to get you help. And they worked together to get an ambulance out to him in time. And as they, the ambulance arrived, he said in his slurred speech, thank you for saving my life. I would have taken the rest of my insulin if I hadn't spoken with you. And they said, well, how did you even hear about us? And he said, I asked Siri. I told Siri that I am going to kill myself. And Siri said, would you like to speak with the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline? And I said, yes. They dialed and they connected me with you, the Boys Town National Hotline. The counselors are so educated and they're so mindful of the lives that they are changing and obviously in many cases saving. And I think that that's probably how powerful it is. I mean, the, that one phone call changes a life. If you're thinking about supporting the Boys Town National Hotline, remember, they need for you to be there for them because they are there for us, for all of us who are in crisis. We said we would put the Boys Town name on all of our pizza boxes. And then they suggested, why don't we put the 1-800 number for the hotline on the pizza box, which was a great idea. So we did that, and then on each box that's sold, a certain percentage of that box is given to Boys Town. The Boys Town National Hotline is a lifesaver. The Boys Town National Hotline is an opportunity for people to save lives on a day-to-day -day basis. And I don't know how much more important a work you can be doing. We, we have had parents speak the words, you've saved my child's life. And hearing that from a parent, um, there's no better reward for doing this work than to know the impact that, that we've had. We sell pizza, they save kids. And if you can be part of that, I mean, there's nothing better than helping somebody save kids.